What's going on everybody? Welcome to episode three of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. The whole purpose of this series is to build an awesome Funko Pop collection starting with just a $50 bill. We're finding good deals on Facebook Marketplace, garage sales, yard sales, thrift stores and everything in order to work our way up to add awesome $100 pieces in our Funko Pop collection. In episode two guys, I had the goal of getting 600 likes on the video and you guys smashed that in order for me to buy my first $100 Funko Pop. So the next episode after this, I will be buying my first $100 Funko Pop and spoiler alert, I've already kind of done that already, but be on the lookout for that next episode because that is where I buy my first $100 pop. As far as sales from last episode and what money we have to work with now, let's do a quick recap. So the only thing that sold from last week's episode was that copy of The Simpsons Road Rage that I got on the GameCube and it ended up selling for $40.79. And as you guys remember, I bought it for $20. So we ended up doing pretty good on that. So total funds of what we have to work with in this episode is $184.50. So we definitely have enough to buy a $100 pop, which we're gonna be doing in the next episode, but let's go out on the hunt and let's see if we can find any good deals on anything and just add more funds back into the collection fund. Here we go. Hello, I know you just saw me like two seconds ago, but let me introduce these two clips that are coming up. So I found a couple of things on KSL Classifieds, one of a pop from Breaking Bad that I thought was an insanely good deal, and then a couple of out-of-box pops that are really hard to find that were awesome deal as well. So that's kind of the introduction to these clips. Let's hop into that. I thought it was you, you were looking around. I was like, that must be him. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, pretty good, man, how you doing? Good. Sweet. Yeah. You can awesome. take a look at it you, before you give me money if you want. Or I'll just give you the money already. That works right. too. Yeah. You Looks interested good. in more Funko Pops? Yeah, I mean, I, I'd definitely be interested if you had some. Yeah, sure. I got I got a lot of Marvel. I got a lot of uh, DC, a lot of oh, okay. Star Wars. Oh, okay. Are yeah. you looking to part with any of them? Or? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, maybe. Yeah. I yeah. don't want to, but maybe. Okay. Did you Did case. you bring any with no, I didn't bring right any with me. Okay. Right when you text me, that's when I woke up. So. <laughs> oh, no, you're <laughs> like, good. Dude, Sunday's the day of rest, man. Yeah, you got you to rest up and everything. Rest, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Okay. But um, I'll definitely message you if, okay. I, if I decide. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. All Sweet. Right. Okay. Sounds okay. good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. A few moments later. Guys, I think I've been duped. I think this pop might be a fake. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't even think to ask all right well i paid 10 bucks and I, the red flags that i'm seeing right here guys is that pop logo right there and also oh my gosh the the print on there i mean i didn't think i had to ask from the pictures and everything but maybe i'll have to ask him where he bought this from but you look at some of the details on like the hands and everything right there oh that is that's bad yeah i think i bought a fake one go <laughs> No! Oh man, this would have been such a good find. I mean, I didn't really know until I got the pop, so that's a bummer. All right, I wanna hop in here for a second, guys, and talk about, well, the fake Funko Pop that I purchased. So, you know, mistakes are made, and this is actually a good series, you know, for people that are starting out, trying to find good deals on everything, that fakes is something that you have to be aware of, and that's something that I could have, you know, asked for more pictures and everything. There was only one picture of the thing, and you know, I just figured it was such a good deal that I didn't even think it would have been possibly fake. So, we got this guy right here, guys, the Heisenberg. <laughs> $10 fake, pretty, uh, you can, when you look at it guys you can totally tell like with like the the box art and everything like that the way that it's printed the quality that it, it is totally fake and after talking to the guy he said that he bought it on amazon and that is a red flag right there sometimes older pops on amazon and stuff like that can be you know faked and so i hope this is a good learning lesson i mean for me it's a good learning lesson as well hopefully for you guys maybe just to pay more attention to things but let's get back into the video and um let's just show you some other things that i came across <laughs> i was like i hope i'm in the right place i parked and i was like shoot he's not answering i was like maybe i'm not in the right place or anything sorry man yeah oh, you really missed your text so these are these three and then you did not want this one right uh no okay. uh, just those uh, three just yeah. those three you want me to set them somewhere yeah yeah yeah. i'll just look at them real quick and okay. oh yeah yeah check them they're, out make they're, sure they're, they're probably fine you got 
consistent with what yeah. you were expecting there. Yeah. So, uh, so you said that you had some other ones, but you weren't looking to part with those ones. Yeah. Or? And I. Uh, so the funny thing is, I got these initially as like a. You ever do loot crate or anything like yeah. that? Yeah. So I I did those, and they were like part of a you know just part of them, and so I thought they were really cool, but. To be honest, they're not not really ones I was like super personally invested in the series yeah. or anything. Yeah. So I started to get my own. Like we actually do it as a my family does like a every Christmas. Uh, oh, okay. Give a, a pop doll. Oh, so. that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So the rest of them I'm a little more attached to. These yeah. ones are just kind of eh. I don't need them anymore. Yeah. But the rest of them I'm yeah I'm gonna hold on to. So oh, okay. Um, but All yeah, right. cool. you have you have quite a few. Yeah, I actually have like a lot. So <laughs> and I saw the, these were some pretty good ones actually out of box for a good price, and I was like. I I gotta get them. So, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Well, cool. Glad right. uh, that could work for you. Okay. Yeah, sounds okay. good. Okay, well, thanks, Landon. Yeah, have a good one, man. Yeah, you too. Well, folks, good news on these ones. These definitely are real. These are authentic. <laughs> Compared to Heisenberg freaking fake city over here. Oh, my gosh. I'm still upset at myself that I didn't even notice or had no idea. But these are definitely three good um, solid pickups, at least for out of box. I figured I was worth it. I already was dr drove out here a far, you know, pretty far away to get this one. So might as well get these other three. So I I'm happy about these. Not super happy. Well, I'll be completely honest with you. After a couple of high, well, one high and definite low, we're gonna go into Entertain Mart. Hopefully we can find something good to kind of make up for that fake Funko Pop that we bought. I don't know, let's let's check it out. Okay, walking into Entertain Mart, they actually had a decent selection of things. You know when they have this card out that they had some good trade in. So let's kind of take a look and see what they have. A good mix of things for sure. And so you kind of have to look through everything and see what prices are. This was at a decent price. I mean, it was at $17.99, but for being a $20 pop wasn't really worth it. Piglet you would think would be worth more, but with it not even having an insert at $6, I think I'm gonna leave that one as well. Kind of looking on the bottom, nothing too crazy down there uh, looking through everything it seemed that everything was at pretty much at value besides this right here vi from league of legends i'm not sure if i said that right but even without the insert that is in that box it's still a really good deal rick sanchez that one i think i maybe should have picked up the doofus rick would have been a good deal um but you know i ultimately left it there i know some billy madison pops actually have some good value believe it or not i don't think that one does this one's a decent pop but it's at value as well also this one if it was the different scary terry would have been worth a lot more but it was the hot topic version kind of going on the other wall just kind of looking through some things and seeing if there's any good deals i ultimately decided to pick up the yakko soda and um maybe we'll have to share that later in the video what i ended up getting in their display case here's some more expensive pops but didn't ultimately buy these either nothing really too crazy of a deal on those Okay, well they had some decent stuff there. I ended up buying a couple personal things and one thing for the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. So, um, yeah, not bad. Let's go back home and we'll talk about it. Later. All right, we are here. Let's go pick up this awesome deal on these two Funko Pops. All right, we got them guys. $4 a piece, $8 total. Dang, what a, what a deal. Back at home, back at the desk, let's recap how much we spent and how much everything is gonna be worth potential profit-wise. So everything that we spent today in today's episode was $39.27. Minus that fake Heisenberg that we bought for $10, everything here should be pretty dang profitable from what I was calculating. We're gonna start up top here with VI. I don't even know, I don't play League of Legends, so somebody down in the comment section below, correct me on this. But this does not have the insert, it does have the box, and normally this would be around like a $50 pop, but you know, with, with the box, I think we're gonna like cut that value in half. Usually, the, my rule of thumb with out-of-box pops, depending on how rare they are or old they are, is about half the value, maybe even a little bit more. So I'm gonna say that this, Potentially, we're gonna do 25 on this. All right, all three of these guys right here actually have some really good value because they are, you know, some older pops. So Agent Smith, if it does have the box, normally would go for around like $44. We're gonna split that in half and expect it on that guy. Hopefully we can get around 22 for him. 
Malcolm Reynolds, he is from Firefly. Normally it would be around like a $75 pop, I'm not mistaken, but we're gonna kind of splice that in half and do hopefully an estimated value or profit on him of $36. Yondu, same case, he would be around, fairly close to like around a $40 pop, maybe around $38. So I'm hoping that we can get about $18 out of this Yondu. Probably the most profitable out of everything here would be the Sailor Moon Pops. We got these for $4 each, which is absolutely insane. Sailor Saturn obviously is the one that's worth more. Let's go over to Sailor Chibi Moon. Like I said, we paid $4 for it. Box is in really good shape, so I'm hoping to get full value of the Funko app out of it. So I'm, I'm hoping to get at least $25 out of that. And then Sailor Saturn, according to the Funko app, goes for $120. Box on the back, it has some creases here and there. So we're gonna, you know, deduct a little bit of that value for that box condition. But I'm hoping to get at least $105 out of Sailor Saturn. Grand total of what everything is worth, Sailor Saturn definitely helps with this number. Estimated value of everything, $231, not bad. Hopefully that is what we can add back into our pocket in the next episode. And that's gonna do it for episode three of the $50 Funko Pop Collection Challenge. Let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I ended up picking up in this video. Also guys, any advice that you have for this series or anything, any stories that you have about fake Funko Pops, anything you wanna share, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos in this series. Thank you guys so much for watching again. You guys are awesome and the best like always. Remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. I will see you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Oh,